Yo people and welcome back to a new Precious Plastic video. You asked for it, so here it is, your bonus video about how to weld plastic. So in this video we are going to show you different techniques, low-tech and a little bit more high-tech, on how to join pieces together, how to make different shape pieces and also how to seal gap between planks, which all of those techniques have become some very important techniques here at the Flip Floppy Project in Lamu in Kenya, where we're building boats out of recycled plastic and we use those techniques to seal the gaps and to make different parts. So we're going to show you which equipment we are using and what you can apply it for. Let's go. So plastic welding generally works very much like metal welding where you have two pieces of metal and then you add metal material to basically join or fuse those two, two pieces together. Also here we have our two plastic pieces and then we melt plastic in between those plastic pieces and then what comes out in the end is one homogeneous piece of plastic. So it's very important first of all that you use the same types. So if you have HDPE planks you will also want your filament to be HDPE, so it can all become one material. Generally, the plastic welding, there's different techniques to join your pieces. You can even use your injection machine or your extrusion machine and melt the plastic to fill it into your gaps and actually melt the, your pieces together like this. But in this video, we will focus on plastic welding techniques using heat guns. So this is just a normal heat gun, which you can probably get in any, any um, hardware shop. If you even get um, a heat gun where you can adjust your temperature, even better. But a lot of them also just have one setting and then you'll use that temperature to heat. We also have now basically also just a heat gun. But this one is a little bit more a professional one where you can set the temperature more in detail. And this one comes also with a nozzle piece, which allows you to actually blow the heat through that through one side and put your filament into the other side. So this one works a little bit more accurately. And then we are also looking at this professional tool, which is made for plastic welding. So it has a heat gun element where it, uh, where it blow, blows out the hot air. The main difference with this one is that you now have a motor which pulls in the filament so you don't actually have to manual feed it and it also has more heating which now can more quickly melt your plastic so you can add much more material and make a more homogeneous weld. So to use these uh, heat guns now I'm inviting my assistant and student Badi. I'm Mohamed Abdallah Mohamed or you can call me Badi. First step you need to have the planks. The planks are made from the recycled plastic and we want to join these two planks using the welding techniques. The second equipment you need is the filament. Yeah, There are different ways that you can make filament. In Lamo Flip Flop we have a special type of extruder. Also you can use a precious plastic extruder. You can also make the filament. Now we are moving for the next step to operate the machine. First of all, safety. You should wear your PPEs. You need a dust coat or you can wear another cloth that you can protect you from the heat. And the gloves. You need gloves to protect your hand from the heat. You need to wear a mask in a small space because there's, an, there's no a lot of ventilation. But here we have a lot of ventilation. We are in, in an open place. We are starting with the heating process. First of all, we plug the heater. The important thing about this machine, you should start in zero and end in zero. That means your knob should be at zero when you start, you start the machine on. And then you rotate it until to the seven. Seven is the highest temperature of this machine. This is heating now. Let us prepare for other materials. For a small welding gun, we can use these small, small pieces to make a test for you. The preparation of these two pieces, first of all, you need to clamp it, then you should make some grooves on it. I'm scratching along the gap so that our filament can align it properly, so that it can stick on it. Our materials are ready. We have, I'm going to show you how to weld these two plates. We insert our filament on this nozzle, on, on the nozzle here. We have two ports in our nozzle. One hot air is coming from it and the other we insert the filament so that the filament can be heated. Let us start. You use your hand to push the filament and should be ob observed so keenly. This is 
the easiest way to attach two plastic parts the simple technique that you can use and, and this is our, our sample it is a sample of a lamu boat we use to joint our hull so that it can be water tight now we are going to look for the big welding gun now i'm going to show you how to use the big welding machine for this we are joining four planks to make one big piece and here we made some grooves that the filament can align here we'll make the final touches by our scraper so we scrapped to remove some dust or some oils switch on the machine remove the knob up to seven the machine is heating for the meantime when we are waiting for the machine to heat let us prepare our materials we should have a lot of filament we should observe the filament thickness so that it cannot stuck on the hole now we can weld This is our final product that we made. Yeah, now this is a solid piece of yeah. <laughs> yeah. At flip flopping, we are testing different plastic materials to have different strength and shape. Here it is a, it is a one example of our mold that we manufacture here in the flip floppy. Here we want to test different planks for a different angle and different position. And the last one is a three profile plank we are going to test it now in a t-joint we use a horizontal piece and a, a vertical piece we are not scrapping the edges exactly at the edges but we scrape at the this, on, on this 90 degree angle the one edge we, pass, we put the filament here and this side here let's go This is how we make our teeth section, we join them. So as we're here at the Flip Floppy project, we're building recycled plastic boats. So here's another good application of where, where you see how we can use that welding gun, which is in sealing the gaps between the planks. So today we are going to show you the taxi down. We have the grooves already prepared so that we can now go in the gaps with our welding gun. Ready? Ready. So let's go. So what you see here is that we're actually using two heat guns. One to heat the gap in the front and then the welding gun to put the plastic filament in. Reason being, we want to make sure that the gap, before we put the welding filament in, that also the plastic is already melting a little bit, so that really it combines well with the filament. to show 
show you just a few of the possibilities that you can, what you can do with plastic welding. We have our straight pieces, which where you use the same profile, laminating them into one fat piece, which you can now apply for any bigger construction purposes. You can make T sections um, to now use, have more efficient use and are very strong profiles because you are using the vertical strength of the of another piece. And you can even do round profiles. So if you bend your planks and weld them together in that way, you can actually create more custom and more organic shapes now. Here you see actually a piece which was extruded like this into a mold. And here, the same shape that we now laminated with normal planks. You also have the joining of different planks. So instead of um, even making bigger surfaces, instead of adding um, nails in between, you can actually weld them and it makes a really strong bond. And of course for our ceiling, for the boats, that's something where we want to use it quite a lot. All right, so this plastic welding technique is actually still quite a new one even for Flip Floppy. So we're still learning, we're still improving and we also want to test all of the pieces that we actually weld so that we can see what the strength actually is. But we did already see how powerful and how useful this technique is and how many applications it can have. So we definitely wanted to share it with all of you because it can open up new opportunities when you even know about this technique. And we are very keen to see what ideas you get from this and how this can help in your projects and your creations. And maybe there's even some of you out there who are actually interested in developing a DIY version of this technique. So we're very keen to hear if there's any interest and if we can collaborate on making an open source version of this tool for the precious plastic community. So I think that's it for this video. And in fact, this is also the last video of the Kenya series for now. I hope you enjoyed seeing some more faces and projects from this area. And if you're interested to get to know more of the East African Fresh Plastic community, let us know in the comments. In the meantime, thank you so much for your support, for all your liking, commenting, sharing, and your support on Patreon. For everyone who is not on there yet, make sure to check it out and see if you want to become part of, a, of the supporter community of the open source community development for tackling plastic pollution. But either way, I hope we see you around for the next videos. So have a good time and see you. Ciao.